The first time I saw Max, he was darting around in circles with his siblings. I never had a dog before, but something about him pulled me in. There were other pups in that litter, all adorable, but Max had this look in his eyes, like he was daring me to pick him. So I did. I took him home that day, and from then on, it was me and Max against the world. I would come home from work, tired and stressed, and their head be, wagging his tail like I was the best thing he has ever seen. No one had ever made me feel like that. No one ever showed that kind of pure, unconditional love. But then, about a year ago, I noticed Max wasn't his usual self. He would get tired quicker during our walks, and sometimes he would just lay down mid-walk, panting heavily. I brushed it off at first, thinking he was just getting older. He was six by then, still young in dog years, or so I thought. But deep down, I knew something wasn't right. When the coughing started, my stomach twisted with worry. I took him to the vet, hoping for something minor. Maybe he had eaten something that didn't agree with him, or he had a cold. But the vet's face told me it was much worse. Max had a heart condition. They said it was serious, and there wasn't much they could do except prescribe some medication to help with his symptoms. I remember nodding, trying to absorb everything, but my mind was spinning. Max was supposed to live for years more. We had so much more time. How could this be happening? The meds helped at first. He seemed to bounce back for a while, and I clung to that hope. But as the months went by, Max started to slow down. He wasn't as eager to go on walks, and he would spend most of his days sleeping. I tried to pretend everything was fine, that he was just getting older, but every time I looked at him, I knew the truth. I could see it in his eyes. He was tired. The last day was the hardest. Max had been struggling more than usual, barely eating, barely moving. That morning, I found him curled up in his favorite spot by the window, looking out at the yard like he always did. I sat down beside him, my hand resting gently on his fur. He leaned his head against me, and I could feel his breathing, slow and labored. I knew it was time. Max may be gone, but the love he gave me, the joy he brought into my life, that stays with me. And for that, am forever grateful.